welcome viewers to our channel uh, today we are going to look at uh, angle between two planes uh, now let us consider the diagram below uh, so let us consider this diagram so here we have uh, a right pyramid with a rectangular base a b c d m is the point of b c now we want to find the angle between the two planes that is a v b c and the rectangular base that is a b c d now for us to get the angle between the two planes uh, first we have to identify where the two planes intersect so if you look at these planes, these two planes intersect at la along the line BC. So what we need to do here is we have to draw drop a line from V which is perpendicular to the line of intersection. To the line of intersection. So here we have line VM. Okay? So that line will meet the line of intersection BC at 90 degrees. Then once you have that line, then you have to find the projection of line VM on the other plane, A, B, C, D. And the projection of line VM on the other plane, A, B, C, D, will be OM okay so OM will also meet the line of intersection at an angle of 90 degrees good now the angle between line VM and its projection OM that angle will be the angle between the two planes V C B and A B C D. Let us see an example. The figure below uh, shows a right pyramid with a rectangular base A B C D. T D equals to two A equals to T B equals to T C, which is seven centimeters. AB is 12 centimeters and BC is 5 centimeters. Now the question is find the angle between the, the planes TBC and ABCD. Uh, so they are asking the angle between a plane TBC and the base ABCD. Now how do you get the plane? We say it first you drop a perpendicular from T to the line of intersection which is BC okay so we drop a perpendicular line to the point of to the line of intersection BC okay so this line meets the line of intersection at 90 degrees then we have to find the projection of line let's call this point point e, M Then we have to find the projection of line TM on the plane ABCD and its projection will be OM. Now the angle between the line TM and its projection OM, that angle is the angle between the two planes. Good. So now the triangle required is a T. So here we have T, O, M, and the angle required is this one, okay? Is the midpoint of B, C. So M divides B, C in two parts. So here we have 2.5. Here we have 2.5. Then O, M is a half of A, B. So if A, B is tall off, a half of A, B will be 6. So O, M will be 6 centimeters. So OM is 6 centimeters. Then we have to get line TM. We have to get line TM. 
So if this point is 90 degrees, then to get Tm, we can use Pythagoras theorem. We can use Pythagoras theorem. Here we have Tmc. So Mc uh, is 2.5, and then Tc is given, which is 7 centimeters. So to get Tm, we use Pythagoras theorem. To get Tm now will be equal to square root of uh, Tc squared minus Mc squared. Tm will be equal to square root of Tc squared minus Mc squared. So Tc is, uh, is a 7. So 7 squared, square root of 7 squared minus 2.5 squared then we have square root of 7 squared that's 49 minus 6.25 so we are going to have square root of 2.75 and the square root of 2.75 will be 6.76 centimeters therefore tm equals to 6.76 so tm we have 6.76 centimeters so to get this angle now, angle theta, we have the adjacent and the opposite. So we have to use the trigonometric ratio of cosine. So cos theta will be equal to adjacent, which is 6 all over uh, 6.76. So cos theta will be equal to 6 divided by 6.76. We're going to have 0 0.8. 876 so to get theta now we say cos inverse of 0 0.8876 which will be equals to which will be equals to uh, 23.41 degrees and that will be the angle between the two planes that is 